Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. It's time for Raven's background story with the Fortnite Mares 2019 mini event for Lady Acres where the slashers are being set free. Enjoy guys. Do you have any scary stories? I'm outside your house right now. Ha ha ha. Raven. Blah! Raven! Hi! <laughs> Smash that button, like, and subscribe. <laughs> right, so this is going to be a summer camp one. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern, and the pattern involves axes. <sighs> Who's there? Guess all that symbolic axe violence is making me a little jumpy. Good. Black! Raven! Hi! You should be afraid. You know, in my life so far, I've had like nine people say that to me, and honestly, that's too many. Someone's got a lot of free time. And a lot of axes? This is a cry for help. What are you, some sort of summer camp slasher expert? Yes, I double majored in slashers and rippers. Where? Bloodhaven Polytechnic. Never heard of it. It's not a blood ivy, but the graduation to death row conversion rate is above average. And the grave robbing team has taken nationals five years running. Go, Rusty Shovels! Dig, dig, dig! In the end, the financial aid package was the deciding factor. You know how it goes. Here we go. Another cry for help. So, Raven, what could this mean? The axes cry out for blood. I would prefer it if they were crying out for trees. Or not crying out at all. The camp has been without soft, slashable campers for two years. The slashers must be absolutely gutted. Yeah, poor slashers. Sitting all alone by an unlit campfire, crying into their machete bags. It's the saddest story ever told. They have feelings, too. There is nothing that could get me to care about their feelings. Such anger on display. Beautiful. The axe work. Brutal, yet not without grace. Taking your word on that? There's a sadness to this work. Self-loathing. Good. The slashers need our help. Getting ahead of this one. We are not helping slashers feel better about themselves. End of announcements. Ugh, this does seem like the work of someone who needs help. How many slashers are we working with here? Ray, someone left the sweetest poem in my cabin. Listen to this. I want you to see behind my mask, but I know you will run from me when all I want is to hold your heart. Oh, it's signed Big Sid. Uh, Pen? Big Sid is a notorious summer camp slasher. No part of that poem was a metaphor. Oh. I'm going to reinforce my cabin. Mine too, please. The slashers are in pain. Read their thoughts. Let their anguish move you. What, you want me to read their diaries or something? Yes. They've been scattering pages of their journals for us to find. That's a little dramatic. It's not a good look. Here's one. I never asked to carry this machete bag. I did not dream of becoming a camp maniac. I dreamed of seeing the world and becoming a veterinarian. You're laying it on a little thick here, Slash. But the older kids tied me to the dock as a prank and forgot I was there until well after the tide came in. Ugh. Yeah, that'll put a chip on your shoulder. See? There is no excuse for slashing. Here's another. No one sets out to become a slasher. You just fall into it, thinking it will be a phase. But then your friends are getting married, having kids of their own... And you're being chained to the boiler and left to die by the campers of Owl Troop. I'm not siding with the slashers, but campers sound terrifying. Here we go. 
I was the caretaker of Camp Shady Acres for 15 years. I poured my heart and soul into these campgrounds, but the campers could never see past my hook hand. Then came the summer Owl Troop lit my cabin on fire as I slept. What is your deal, Owl Troop? Campers are all terrible. They are not. Their parents send them to spend the summer in the spooky woods. You don't do that to the ones you want to keep. Here's another. How I long for the day I can once again raise my machete. Not reading that. Not reading that either. What's an abattoir? Slaughterhouse. Someone went to Bloodhaven. Why do you like these creeps so much, Raven? They are my people. Aren't we your people? Home base fears me. A little. But mostly because you make overlong eye contact and say things like, Zoom. <laughs> and then there's the laughter. Last one. I was born under a bad sign in the light of a blood red moon. Wait, stop. That's mine. I am a child of darkness and evil. I said stop. But my fate is my own. I can change my path. Raven, is this yours? I think I see why you want to help the slashers. The world turned its back on our kind. You go on one rampage, and suddenly you're a monster. Well, yes. What are you? Some sort of anti-slashist? Yes. Slashing is sad, and gross, and mean. But maybe we're wrong to give up on the slashers. I have an idea. Attention, campers! Run. Run away and do not look back! Attention, slashers! Get ready for the summer of your life! Because you just got invited to the one and only summer camp for summer camp slashers! Welcome to Camp Blady Acres. We'll be pairing you with your camp counselors this afternoon. Do not slash them! Slashing a counselor is an automatic dry docking. 48 hours, no swimming, no canoe time. Aww. Yeah, that's right, don't test me. One slice and you're out. Other than that, get out there! Have fun, make friends. And get ready for the spookiest campfire story experience of your lives! And in some cases, afterlives! Hi all! I hear you're ready for the biggest scares of your lives! <laughs> Everyone grab a stick and I'll provide the marshmallows. And then I'll provide the horror. <laughs> And the detective said, get out now. The call is coming from inside the house. <whistles> Nothing? <laughs> What's a landline? You know, I, I don't know really. But the point is, the killer is in the house. <sighs> no, not cool. You're losing them. I've got loads more stories. So roast those mallows and strap in for terror. And when he got home, he saw the hook dangling from his car door. Was it your hook? I bet he never bothered to return the hook. I don't think he was aware of the etiquette of the situation. Thank you for seeing it from his perspective, I guess. Do you have any scary stories? I do! This is the story of a man who finds the perfect bride, but when she unties her neck ribbon, her head falls off. You're gonna love it! Okay, okay, so... There was this man... Wait, no, stay with it, there's a twist. You don't seem to think my stories are all that scary, so... Maybe one of you should have a go. Yes. Get ready to scream. And then her boyfriend said, Let's all stick together. No wandering off. And they all walked to the car. And the car started. I see how this works. Watch this next one. He reached into his machete bag, and it was empty. <laughs> I thought that was the one. So what if you lose your machete bag? You've still got your knife tote. <laughs> and your chainsaw stash. <laughs> Remember, preparation is a slasher's best friend. 
this next one's mine. The developer picked up his phone and said, The camp is the perfect location <laughs> for a resort golf course. No. That's more boring than scary. A dark and scary camp is their home. Everywhere else, they're rejected and hated. I've got it. The scariest possible story. Big Sid gripped his lunch tray and scanned the lunchroom. <laughs> Maybe I'll sit at an empty table, he thought. But there was no empty table. Can I help you, him? Shut up. Uh, yeah, okay. He looked at the sporty kids. No, they'd never let him sit down. Then at the goth kids. But they gave him the stink eye. Suddenly, the lunch lady grabbed his arm. <laughs> sit down, honey, she said. Your lunch is getting cold. <laughs> and that's how you do that. Incidentally, it's lunchtime. Grab a tray and get to it. Hey, Slashers, I saved you a seat. <laughs> Thank you. We were very close to slashing our way out of here. We all saw the machetes. Pull up a seat. Let's chat. So, who's got someone special back home? Uh, me? Oh, what's her name? Say out the man. She goes to another school is a classic move. Very good. Still, give her a name. Wow, you've really hit it off with the slashers. They're not so bad once you get to know them. And if you don't think about it too much. All right, slashers. You can't make friends if you can't be found. Prepare for the no lurk challenge. When I blow the whistle, the game begins. Grab a backpack, get hiking, and do not lurk. No stalking, looming, or determined power walking. No going, shh, 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 shh. Just get out there. Walk around like you're not going to hurt anyone. No more lurking. Dennis, how are you the first one out? Got in my own head, forgot what lurking meant, and then I panicked, and now I'm lurking. Penny, you're out. Sorry. I think I psyched myself out. Locke, you're out. Sorry. Guys, this should have been a gimme. Ray, you're out. What are you talking about? I... Oh, yeah. Huh. Guys, are we lurkers? According to the scoreboard, yes. Raven, you're out. I know. I couldn't resist. That means we have a winner. Come claim your prize. And he's gone. He's in lurk debt. Give him time. I think we're really making progress with the slashers. I think they're really making progress with us. I've never lurked a day in my life, and look at me now. Where are you? Exactly. I think everyone's under a little stress. Tomorrow's the big canoe jamboree. We'll have fun, blow off some steam, and we'll show them some good clean times. What could go wrong? Everyone sit down and shut up. Except for the slashers, you did nothing wrong. Due to improper machete handling, the following campers are dry docked. Dennis, Penny, Seabot, Locke, Ken, Kyle, Quinn, Sarah. If you're on my team, you're dry docked and you know why. So instead of competing in a well-planned series of races, you're collecting equipment for Team Slasher, whose example you should all be following. Now get out there and find some paddles. I've never seen Ray that angry. Yeah, but that might be the appropriate reaction to a machete fight. I guess. Wait, why did we get into a machete fight anyway? I mean, we're the good guys. We're so the good guys. You want help? Not from you. You just want to flaunt your water privileges. No. Slashers hate water. <laughs> right. Unless they're jumping out of it to attack someone on a boat. So, what exactly happened last night? We were just blowing off steam. No one's too happy about losing to you. Why? Because we're better than you. No offense. What did you say? You're bad people. We are not. So, we're better. It's not personal. It's just like, I've never slashed a camp. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. 
I'm not crazy about what's happening here. <laughs> Here's your paddle. I'm gonna run. Do not be offended, but I'm gonna make a tiny little call for help. Hi, Ray. Please, emergency help outside now. This is Ray. Please state your emergency. These slashers are looking at me. And at me. That's hardly an emergency. It may be relevant to know that there may have been some words exchanged between parties. Things may have gotten very, very personal, Dennis. If I had known his backstory, I would not have said the mom thing. Or the swimming thing. Or the furnace thing. Okay, you guys should be running. The best we can manage is slowly backing away while tripping over tree branches. No oh, tree branch! Okay. Maybe we should split up. Nope, nope. I'm on my way. You guys were doing so well. What happened? You all think you're better than us. Not true. A little true. <laughs> well said. Why bother changing if you will only ever see us as evil? My team, I expected more from you. Slashers, I expected way, way less to the point we have all made new wills. But camp is still in session. I'm going to give you the chance to sort this all out yourselves. So get out there and bury the hatchet. Everyone got their hatchets? Yes. I have a few. Let's resolve conflict. That's one option. This seems like a good place to bury the hatchet. You think you're better than me? Well, less evil. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I don't know if I can ever really overlook your past. <sighs> but I suppose I see you trying to change, and that takes courage. You are so certain you're good. We are the good guys. But what good have you done? Been the good guys? How exactly? By not being the bad guys? Hold up. Do I have to constantly do good stuff to be a good guy? Yes. Is like once a week enough? Seems unlikely. Dennis, is it possible we're less good than we think we are? I mean, we're not evil. Is that a high enough bar, really? Sure. You don't become evil simply by not being good. <laughs> That's right. Being evil is a full-time job. Wake up, evil. All day long, evil. Nighttime, extra evil. Can't I just think I'm nice and good and that's enough? Makes my job easier. Guys, am I evil? You're just a kid, so you're at most a little evil. Oh no, I'll go turn myself off now. No, wait, if I've learned anything from camp, it's that everyone can get better. Or worse. Or worse, exactly. Hey, Raven, I'm sorry I said I was better than you. And I'm sorry about what you'll find when you open your sleeping bag. So, how'd it go? We've reached a peace. And I've decided that truly being good is way too hard. So, I'm going to downgrade my self-assessment. Say goodbye to good guy Dennis. And hello to Slasher Dennis! That's like three steps too far. Machete Bot, lead the way. Quiet, please. I am slashing. Ow, your eye. Ow, your face. Ow, your limbs. We can't have this. This crosses a whole series of lines. And technically should violate one of the rules of Seabotics. I mean, yeah, but this is the logical result of sending everyone to his slasher camp. He's right. Slasher camp really inspired me. And if I don't get out there and slash, who knows what I'll do. All right, fine. One slash rampage. Grab a bladed weapon and get that slashing out of your system. Husks and mist monsters only. No promises. Promises, Machete Bot. Promises. What is cleaved can never be uncleaved. That is true. Unfortunately, 
Look out. I am slashing. Gonna go ahead and uh, leave you to it. I so, how's the slashing? I mean, I'm not not getting the appeal. Oh, hey, no. slashers! No. If you can hear me, I get it! You're supposed to be getting this out of your system? I know, but the blade wants what the blade wants. Is it alright if I call your therapist? The blade thinks that might be the best course of action for all involved. Slash, slash, slash! Oh, hello. Can I get you a slice? Don't be shy. Take two. Wow, you are very efficient with a blade. I learned a lot from our slasher friends. But not too much, right? Like, this is healthy slash rampaging, right? <laughs> Ray, love, are you worried Camp Lady Acres turned wow. me into a slasher? A little. Well, I just learned a few new husk fighting moves is all. Oh, good. As long as there are husks around, I'll be fine. Do you mean... If we run out of husks, there might be problems. I will make a note of that. Quiet, please. I am sleeping. I could use a slash nap myself. Slash crash. <laughs> Aw, they're all slashed out. Well, slashers, if you're out there lurking in the woods, we've learned a lot from our time together. Some would say too much. And hopefully we've shown you how rewarding a slash-free life can be. Good night, you slashers of camp. You lurkers of New Plankerton. The slashers have a message. You have treated us as friends and challenged us to take steps outside of the campsites we know and love and into the world. We will spread this message to every camp across the land. And soon... Our people will be free. Aww. Wait. Oh no. We've unleashed camp slashers on an unsuspecting world. you have any scary stories, get ready to scream. This next one's mine. I'm outside your house right now. Ha ha ha. Raven. Yeah, that's not great. I'll have a talk with him. Black! Raven! Hi! You should be afraid. <laughs> and then there's laughter. Smash that button, like, and subscribe!